The partnership between Adventure Canada and Students on Ice goes back like over a decade. And the partnership actually takes a few different forms. Of course, we work really closely with them whenever we charter the ship, for example, or when we bring a group of students on board an Adventure Canada cruise, like we did this time. Adventure Canada has also supported the Students on Ice program by sponsoring scholarships. Adventure Canada has given us the opportunity to customize the, the programming that we offer to the group on board. So we're able to gather our group and meet with different AC staff and have tailored conversations that apply to the youth. So for example, we got a special cruise with Gary Donaldson, the ornithologist on board when we were visiting Prince Leopold Island and the Migratory Bird Sanctuary there. And that was a really rich experience for the students to get that time with Gary as an SOI alum and hear more about the colony and also his work. So Venture Canada has been doing this kind of work for many, many years and what I really appreciate about it is that cultural connections, the fact that they bring a bunch of Inuit culturalists, you know, it's not just me that's carrying the weight and trying to impress upon our students where they're going and, and so to be able to bring a smaller group and really be able to curate the education program to what their interests and needs are. And we have two Inuit students who have really developed more of an appreciation of what they bring to the table. And I feel very privileged to be able to say, you know, I've been working with them and they're learning how to throat sing, they're learning how to drum, but all our students and actually all our guests are getting that experience. And I think that's really special. One of my most special moments definitely was yesterday when we are in the Lewisat, sitting in front of the glaciers and just going through th th songs and, and different sounds and how to, how to do it. I just love it. <laughs> I think that I would describe my expedition experience as simply filled with learning, whether that's from the land that we've been on uh, or the people that I've been around. I've been exposed to those perspectives through like real meaningful connections to people which is rarely something you can say about most programs. I think young people know that our job over the next several decades is going to be addressing climate change amongst other social injustices and environmental issues. And being in the Arctic feels like being at the eye of the storm. You get to see how change affects fragile environments and resilient but you know again fragile communities and i think that is super important to see that and to know over the next several decades what we are fighting for it's just been uh, incredible i mean even now we're sitting on top of a hill looking out over world's biggest ice fjord it's one thing to read about it uh, it's another thing to live it i mean to see uh, a 300 foot ice wall that's while it's so impressive on its own to know that that was a mile high at one point not so long ago. Uh, as well, it was very interesting to, uh, to hear uh, the Inuit side of the Franklin Expedition firsthand, being able to uh, have that story passed down to people who had a tangible connection to the site was incredible. That was very excellent. The fact that we had a, a traditional food tasting with the elders and community uh, leadership team, that was, that was great and, uh, to talk about. It, it's very important to me because as a, as a Mi'kmaq person, you know, we gather over food in Maui Ome and, and being able to gather for the uh, community, uh, welcome. There was so much power in the, the drummer alarm key and the, uh, the Inuit Games demonstration, uh, I really enjoyed. The ability to just uh, partake in that with the, with the other youth. Like, all of us are so different and we really complement our differences and I'm, I'm learning a lot of new perspectives. It's hard to connect my culture in the big city, right? I just couldn't stop crying seeing them, like cr tears of joy, feeling so connected and so happy that they have this community and they're able to express their culture. I did feel a little bit of grief that my family and I haven't been able to practice our culture like that but it was mostly just like just feeling so like heartwarming to see that I think there's a lot of shame with my identity and being in this I really feel like I belong because like with like generational trauma and things there's like 
distorted beliefs that you have that maybe you don't deserve to practice your culture or you don't deserve to learn your language or do those things. So like being here and I feel so included. I just feel really connected. I feel like there's so much healing and even healing in my family, even though they're not here, I'm, I've been sending them my throat singing, my drumming, um, everything I'm learning. And it just feels so healing. And I think that's why I get so emotional because like all of that generational trauma, I think it's just coming out and healing is replacing it.